All right, guys, a very short update today because nothing really changed in terms of the price action from yesterday. As we discussed, it's still going down, but not lower the critical levels. Although the fear and greed index of Bitcoin is at five. It is the lowest level through the whole history of this indicator. You can actually draw a line over here showing the trend of the for the lows and it wasn't that low even when we dropped from 3000 to, from 6000 to 3000 in last year and right now well it's like a signal to buy although of course yesterday it was 11 and it was also quite a nice signal from that point we dropped like 200 300 dollars down we'll look at magd today but first i would like to show you what is the zone for the potential buys which a lot of people are talking about so basically again most of the people are saying that on the bull market there is a trend for testing 21 ema and also 128 or 100 but for bitcoin 128 is more profitable in terms of statistic so when the price will hit those moving averages then with if we'll have a pullback then the bull market is continuing if we'll dropping below that then it's the over of the trend we are going to the bear territory now here is the thing this is the common narrative so everybody are are looking at these levels it's now something like nine thousand dollars and everybody are saying okay we need to average here and there are two options First, you would go and buy a little bit higher than those moving averages because apparently a lot of people were just buy at those levels because they would say that as soon as price reached this level and that would be probably the, probably the lowest one, so we need to go there. It would mean that you might not be able to buy at this level because a lot of people will do that so the price will have a very fast pullback to the upside so the limit orders may be placed from people who are trying to be a little bit smarter than the others a little bit higher than the moving averages this is the one option second option is to buy when the price actually will go above the moving average after the pullback so if we'll have a pullback and it is strong the volume is big then you may think that okay we have the confirmation of the bull trend will go up from now and it is safe to buy but this is the majority of people this is the common narrative and market never goes where the crowd wants it to go with a very rare exceptions though but anyway right now i think that as soon as we will go lower and reach or approach to these levels like a little bit higher than moving averages which is something like nine thousand two hundred nine thousand one hundred dollars i think as soon as we do that we wouldn't stop there because a lot of people will buy here we will not stop at the moving average and have a pullback because even more people will buy here we would need to shake out all of those buyers and go much lower which would be as i said in previous videos the end of this huge rise and maybe much longer and painful bleeding will be established and this is pretty much the same as I mentioned about this lows. So as soon as we'll go the lower than the previous low, which is $9,100, then that's it. I don't believe that we can sustain the continuation of the growth, that we can hold this level is probably over. But again, this is just my personal opinion and not financial advice, so let's see how it will happen. So far, again, I should stress out that I believe that we still in the bull market and statistically everything which is happening right now is reasonable we had a very strong and fast rise so that we would have to have a long and reasonably deep correction it's not that deep everything which is below 40 percent then you may expect this is not a bull market anymore this is not the simple correction this is something really severe so so far we actually still within this formation as soon as we didn't go below the previous low here and especially this one it is still okay we will continue to consolidate and the growth will be after that you can remember SOPR it's also again below one which is also a confirmation to the fact that we are pretty much at the edge of the correction if we'll go below that level then people would have to sell with their losses which is a typical for a bear market condition and then indeed the price will go lower and have a pullbacks temporal to the upside and then we can go lower and lower and lower it is still a possibility so be careful with your investments use your stop orders and so on okay now let's talk about macd and on a weekly time frame we have a very alarming sign for macd we are approaching to have a bearish crossover when 
we had it for example over here we dropped from the all-time high and had a bear market after that even here we had like the drop from six thousand to three thousand dollars but i was going to show you the corrections in 2017 how did macd played out for those corrections so you can see that for the most of them for example this one and this one and even this one we didn't have the bearish crossover happened well in fact here it was a little bit but then we immediately returned back and for the rest of the points we didn't even have this crossover so as you can see from this historical example if we'll have this crossover happened then it either will be the point when the lowest price is set and we need to go higher or if we'll hold there if we'll go even a little bit lower then it's very likely that the situation similar to this or this will happen i don't say that we'll go to something like three thousand dollars or or whatever but the correction will be much longer and much deeper and the continuation of the growth will be probably postponed it for a while don't want to discourage you guys but those are things which market tells us so we need to listen to it and act correspondingly and carefully let's see though so far there is some hope and again statistically it's more likely that we'll not have this drop and we will continue to stagnate and finally go up so let's believe in probabilities and stake on those which are higher and i will keep you updated so far that is it for today thank you for watching